Ah, the Met Gala. Is there any word more thrilling to the human soul? Now, if some of the most influential minds in contemporary society coming together to raise funds for a good cause, and at the same time showcasing some of the most stylish outfits you'll see this year, if that's something that sounds like it would appeal to you, then you are positively going to detest the Met Gala. Ha! <laughs> 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 Led you up the garden path a little there it was a joke. There are many more jokes to be told today, and I'll tell them as soon as you subscribe to this damn channel. Okay, let's get into it. Let's take a look at some of the best examples of stunning bravery that were on display on the red carpet at the Met Gala 2023. What a time to be alive! Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is so... Who is this? Who ah, Billie Eilish. Silly Billie Eilish. Silly willy billy chilly killy? No. It's this. Simone Rocha. My girl. It's so it's beautiful. Little, uh, uh. Is it the... <laughs> the Met Gala brings out the most petty, irrationally angry side of my personality. It is the closest thing to a literal representation of the children's fable of the emperor with no clothes. It's a load of entitled nutcases wearing the stupidest shit anyone could ever imagine. And all these sycophantic, idiot fashion blogger journalists just there feeding their delusional ego on the red carpet like the emperor's pathetic. Pathetic henchmen, because God forbid anyone asked them after they spent $50,000 on getting a seat at the Met Gala. What the hell are you wearing, you bloody lunatic? Yeah, it's, it's cute. This is something kind of, okay, like, this is so you, but also it's like something I've never seen you in before. I don't want to pick on the sycophantic journalist too much, I don't know who she is, but um, the use of the Barnum statements, the Barnum statements, it's insufferable. This is like so you and also like nothing you've ever worn before. Everything falls under that category. Oh, thanks. What, what was the inspo tonight? Like what, what was on your mind? I'm sorry, what? What, what was the inspo tonight? Like. Did she just say, what was the ins- What was the ins- What was the inspo tonight? Inspo. Like, what, what was on your mind? I want to do layers, lots of textures, lots of fabrics, materials. Like, I wanted things hanging. I wanted things, like, I wanted to just be, like, kind of thrown. Yes. And, like, kind of messed up. Yep. <laughs> Well, to be fair to Billie Eilish, she has achieved what she set out to. She looks a right fucking mess. Do you get like, okay, when I'm about to go on the carpet, I'm so anal about every detail. Oh, don't say that. Nobody should say that. What are you excited to experience in there? I mean, this is like, this is not your first Met, you know, it goes on in there. Mm -hmm. What do you look forward to at this point now that you're a seasoned veteran. I imagine Billie Eilish probably can't go into too much detail here. She probably can't say it on camera, you know, to the bootlicking fashion blogger. But um, <laughs> her favourite part of the evening, the favourite part of the e evening for these seasoned vets, right, the, 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 the best part of the evening has got to be when all of the cameras are gone and uh, the ceremony's winding down, the speeches are finished. It's the after party, isn't it? The after party. And the after party of the Met Gala from what I've been told, uh, goes as follows. So the speech has come to an end. There's no cameras. Everyone turns their phone off, right? Uh, so that none of it gets recorded, God forbid. And um, they, um, they they hop into their helicopters and autogyros and some of the kookier ones in tele dirigibles. And they, and they fly over or float over to uh, Epstein Island. And they have a massive soma-induced orgy. Some lunatic conspiracy theorists talk about human sacrifices, you know, dancing naked around an open fire to the beat of a drum, singing orgy, 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 orgy. Seems a tad far-fetched to my mind. What is undeniable, though, is that if you are in that, if you're at that level, you've got 50 grand to pay for a seat at the Met Gala and dress up as a cat. Or, or, or as a tramp, or whatever the others are supposed to be. Um, where are you going to get your thrills? Take Jared Leto, for instance. Look at him. 
successful movie career, successful band, leader of a cult, and he spent 50 grand to get into the Met Gala, and he's dressed up like somebody who works for minimum wage at Disneyland. To what lengths must Jared Leto have to go just to feel any kind of human emotion? Where can he go? Epstein Island. Um, I look forward, I just look forward to seeing friends. I really don't know how to do this. Yeah, that was a weird cut. I hope Billie Eilish didn't say anything she shouldn't have. Let's just hope the Clintons weren't watching. That's why we have to hang out in there. We're Wait. sitting at the same table. <laughs> I know! Oh, hang out! Who's going to hang out? I would like a friend. Okay. No, we're, see, <laughs> we have each other tonight. We do. Moving swiftly on. You look amazing. Thank you. You too. Oh my God, your eyes are so breathtaking. Stop. I hate to be a negative Nancy, but I despise Cardi B. You're so breathtaking. Stop, you yes. look so beautiful. Are you, I mean, you're clearly going for straight up Carl tonight. Yes, uh, Carl in the house of Chanel. Yes. You know, every girl from the hood loves a Chanel purse, so it's like... The best. Uh, yeah. oh, every girl from the hood loves a Chanel purse. I know Cardi B is very genuinely, or was very genuinely a hood rat. She was a gang member, she was a stripper, putting it lightly. But she's not in the hood now. And I have to say, I'm a little bit sick of people wearing that as a badge of honour. Don't get me wrong, I don't think people should be ashamed of their roots. But at the same time, I don't think people should be excessively proud of their roots either. I just find it very cringe, very cliche, um, when, you, the, on the one hand, you've got these people, um, perhaps more so in the past, that would sort of deny their humble um, beginnings, you know, to, to, to sort of fit in social climbers who wanted to uh, make out that, you know, they had noble heritage or, or, um, or, or they knew important people. But it seems like now it's quite the opposite, more often than not, that there's far more market uh, there's far more of a market to selling this, oh, I'm from the hood, oh, I'm from a council estate. I talk about growing up on a council estate. You know, I'm not ashamed of it, and but I'm not proud of it either. It's just a fact, you know. It, in my case, it doesn't feel like it really, I don't feel like a stereotypical kid from a council estate. I never felt like a hard, tough, northern council estate lad. Um, it's just a fact of geography. It's just where I was born and spent the first... 12, 13 years of my life. It's not, it's not a thing really for me. It's not, it's not that important. And it feels like somebody like Cardi B singing about her wet ass puddy, uh, uh, whoring her way out of the hood. Um, it, it feels like that's not something for our young people to aspire to. <laughs> Why do we celebrate people not bettering themselves? And why can Cardi B, who, as I said, was legitimately a hood rat, why do we celebrate, why does she continue to market herself as one, right? When she's clearly so far removed from the hood, she can't even fucking remember what it smells like, right? Because she whored her way out of the Bronx a long time ago. Yeah. I feel like this is the most comfortable dress I have ever worn. Really? Yes. Amazing. Yes. How are you going to sit? So, no, I'm actually changing because I cannot sit in this dress. <laughs> Do you feel like you're more of a character tonight or more of you? Ooh, I feel like I am the character version of myself. That's such a great way to put it because it's like, I feel like, you know, we do get dressed up in a way that's like a character, but it also, it always has to feel us though too. Always. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, always. Me, custom, Mew oh. Mew. I you. love her. You can, fit, you can fit nothing in there? No, I fit quite a few things. Oh, I'm sure she could fit the keys to her autogyro, a packet of Soma and a revolver with just one bullet in if after the orgy she still hasn't satiated her longing for human emotion. Anyone for a game of Russian roulette? Okay, yeah. amazing. Me being so pessimistic. But see, like, we can't even really bring our phones in there. So it's no. like just a lipstick bag. I got, I got a little compact powder. Some lipstick and yeah, the QR code to get in here. I okay, so tell me all about this. Wow. I mean, who? Is, wait, so who made it? Wow. Wow. Okay, so something a little different. So, what was your inspiration for tonight? Be honest with me and go into detail. Wow. Wow. 
So I think we should take this as a warning, you know. Um, a lot of us want to be rich and famous. Uh, but uh, <laughs> at what price, right? At what price? Because do you want to be rich and famous? Do you want to become rich and famous and lose your mind in the process? Do you want to get to the point where you've got so much wealth and money, so many adoring fans and cult members in Jared Leto's um, case, uh, do, do you want to get to the point where everyone you're surrounded by is a boot-licking henchman, yes-man, or an adoring fan? You've got so much money, you can afford all of the soma and orgies that your little heart desires, right? Uh, you get to that point, and you have to feel something. So you dress up in the hottest, most uncomfortable items of clothing imaginable to humans. You start meowing like a cat because words just cannot express your anguish. Doesn't matter how many drugs you take, right? Or how many cults you start, Jared. None of it fulfills you. Nothing, no, none of it makes you feel alive. And you just have to keep trying to find a new high until eventually you're playing Russian roulette on Epstein Island, dancing around a fire in a loincloth, right? Making human sacrifices. <laughs> That's what they're doing. That's what's happening, right? And um, and yeah, it's a shame. Well, thanks for watching. This has been fun, hasn't it? Um, I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All the rest of it. Bye. Wow.